whole life, man. Alright. I have a viewer in already login. You know, I went live earlier, but somewhat the connection is not the best. Um, so the first person in, could you please let me know if you're hearing me clearly? Want to do a sound check? Oh, Shappy Bradshaw, you there? Now we see you, man. Enough love, you know? I've got to bring this thing closer to me, you know? God. You know me I listen, I'm living you, my child get comfortable. All right. Keep them logging in. Be first, I'm going to live a while ago, I'm going to have any because I'm not see nobody. All right. Everybody logging in. All right. All right. All right. Let me see me can. Give me a second. Let me know if you can hear me properly. Let me know if you can hear me properly. Yes. What are we saying yes to? Um, hey, hey, so I just wake up. I want to tell you, say, I just due to the tiredness, you know, like my been at work. Like, I wake up, what time now? It's 6.30? No, man. I wake up from about 3 o'clock as I go to bed after 7 this morning. You know that something they go, just tired, you see? I me, me, me up, I fresh up, but I don't know. I just tired. So I go in there work, yeah, man. Working people out there don't know that struggle they go down. No. Right, what I really want to know is, yes, we're hearing it. Is it clear? No echoing or anything? But based on the sound, let me check and see. All right. The family. I got, hey, for all of those asking ask, ask about the family, now. see if you want to know about the family, make sure that you go and subscribe to my Gamp TV, as a matter of fact. Let me put it right in the comment and pin it. Give me a second. I know the fastest fan typing, so I don't judge me. I click out my phone. See? What am I typing? I can't even spell this as it, yeah. Nobody laugh at me, you know. We know enough people that say, yo, where's the baby? Baby, I don't have a baby. I have a big son. <laughs> man, they are big man, man. I don't are uh, interested. Come on. I think I glitch. You know, give me a quick minute. All right, well, wait till we get 100 persons. You know? That's nothing to ask for because we have a lot of people over here. Way more than GAM TV, so we can get 100 by far easy. Oh, I'm going to spell. I can't spell. I'm going to say, man, there you go. When you see what me I type on, I go, wonder why that take me so long. Can you give me a minute? Just be with me, just a minute. find a pointing finger there. Give me a quick minute. I've reached down to the question and answer. So in the meantime, while I'm going to take my slow little time, type, just let me know. Just think in your heads what you want to ask. See? So that's that for that. Because we're talking about Easter. A lot of questions that I've been getting, I cannot address them. Um, individually, so. All right. So there you go. So right there, that's it, right? That was what took so long. 
Uh, we have 38 people. So I'm saying I'm to reach at 100. So if you tell your auntie or your sister or your cousin, say, yo, go live beside you, tell them to go live, because we are going to talk about the thing, you see? All right, I think I can uh, move shaky. All right, the sound is good. Let me see, all right, let me see if there is any question. All right, love to hear where they are actually teacher. Um, love to hear do. All right, big up yourself, Art Facey. Yes, I love you here. Big up. All right. Andrea, proud mom of two. Big up. Let's try to reach everybody. All right. We have 40 people. 39, 40. We are waiting on 100. Before we go live, as I was live over on Instagram just now. But as I said before, a lot of comments that I've been getting, direct messages on Instagram, I just want to address them and just answer a few things about Easter. If you're very last minute like myself, Trust me, everybody in the comment section asking, where is my family? Family's all right now. Sorry, Jamir is at daycare. His mom just went to get him. And they're gone off to the grocery store. If you go buy fish, yeah, I'm a very last minute, people. I'm very last minute. I, I work better that way. I don't know. So then go and buy fish. Then go and buy some flour, some nutmeg and cinnamon and thing. I don't know. I'm going to start my baking tonight. You see me? So if you're a last minute like I am, that's why I'm here today, to answer all the questions about choosing the right fish. It's not too late. I mean, also some fish markets still open. Choosing the right fish, um, questions about the bun recipe, questions about what I have available on the channel. All of them questions are about to answer, but I'm going to answer as you ask. So you ask and me answer. But bear me, I may not be able to answer everybody. You see me? Let me go so far and see. Let me see. I think them. First, I'm going to take a quick breeze. We are waiting for 100 persons, you know, before we start this thing. I don't want this live to exceed half an hour. You see me? So I'm going to deal with the thing quick and fast. All right, let me see what I say now. So let me see. Sheppy Bradshaw, I always say her, like, she's on both channels. Big up yourself. You know what I say? Cherry Pie there, Cynthia there. They have um, Cleveland Morris. I'll go on general if you're still lagging. You have the same name, man. Well, go on. Wendy, big up Cynthia. Let me say Art Face, big up Sasha. Sasha Wint. Jada Shea, Walters, then I place Miss Keisha. Big up Kevin Debout. What is that? Anisha, Anisha Simon, big up. And Nina Brown. Nina, no, no, no. Anna Brown, that's a big up. Hey, me have some different names. 65, be with me. See people my laggy, so reach at 100. 100 people where we find. We can't get that in a no time. Because when we go GAM TV, we get that in no time. So tag your auntie sister. People my lag off. 60. All right, you know I'm going to start the thing, you know. Because I don't want who are here patiently waiting way too long. All right. How do I pin this thing? No. All right, so what I want to do is go through the questions and know where you guys have. <laughs> hey, hard face, you know, you know, you know, be yourself. That kind of tonic. My born slim man. Mommy, I don't know what I'm but my father is very skinny, you know, or was. So I hear me get that from. So, mommy side of family, thick. My father side of family, smart. You see, let me just get it from my father's side, so no food can save this a slim body. I'm gonna think. You see? All right. What are the what are the questions? Happy holiday, Valerie. Big up. So I'm gonna see no, no question. A lot of persons have a lot of questions, but I'm not seeing them right now, and that's what I'm here to answer right now. Big up, man. Rushy and Vivo, big up Morris, up top, man. All right. Chrissy, big up. I say I love your channel. Big up for that. Sasha Wint, first time. Big up. This is the second time I'm going live. The first time was Mother's Day last year, so it's been a while, a while now. All right. My fish is seasoned and frozen. All right, so we have a question there right now. This question is coming from um, Wendy. 
when they say our fish is still frozen, can I still fry it? Yes, you can still fry the frozen fish, see? But you have to ensure that the oil is not too hot because that, that fish will get burnt and then the inside will become raw. So you don't want to have that fish burnt. So have it, put your oil, if you have a thermometer, you can put your oil at, let's say, 290, 300 degrees thereabout. And then slowly bring, because what you're doing while you're frying the fish frozen, you're slowly bringing up the fish to room temperature and, defro and defrosting that ice that's in the fish. But in that process, you don't want to put it in a high, in high heat and, and, and a high temperature oil. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to just get the outside burnt and inside of the fish are going to be raw. So frozen fish, yes, you can fry them, but just gradually get into the process and turn up your oil. And you don't want to, you don't want to wait too long because... The fish will become soggy and then stick to the bottom of the pan. So ensure that the oil is hot enough. So you have the oil at, bring up the oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit first. And once that reaches there, then you lower the, the oil, the, the temperature of the oil to 300. Why I say 350? So that when you put the cold, the frozen fish in, it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot and then rip when it's time to flip it. See? But do that. Hope that answer that question. Um, what is the substitute for guineas in the bun recipe all right that's that i'm not going to use guineas in mine today's to, uh, that's what life have to do you can't fix that again no? but yeah i'm not going to be using the guineas right now i'm going to use just a regular beer so you can use a non-alcoholic beer they have a lot of them on the market you know what i say that's what i am going to be using if you don't like guineas but the guineas just give it that I don't know. Guineas just give my bun that distinct flavor. I me just love. But we don't have no guineas right now. And as I'm saying, I'm in a shop. Alice are going to go and buy them something. See? So you can use just a non-alcoholic um, beer or any other beer of your choice that you like. See? What else, man? Tell me if you're still hearing me properly, you know, because hopefully this mic is up and running. What are the other questions that are here? What is the correct way to cook crabs? All right, right now, we are de it depends. You know, there's no real correct way. It depends on how you want your crab. Some people like crab in um, soup. Them like curry crab. You know what I say? Jerk. The list goes on. It depends on what you want. It's basically, the cooking technique that you like. Me, preferably, I like a lot of jerk because I like spices. You know what I say? So it all boils down to the individual. But crab, we are talking Easter, you know, me, me, Jamaican thing, I don't think we really got crab for Easter still. But if you ask a crab, if I, me personally, me having crab, me cannot eat shellfish per se. But if I, if, let's say I'm having crab then, I like a lot of spice and I like things with sauce. So I'd go for some nice curry crab, you know what I say? Because me like spice and I like something to have a sauce to go with it. Even when I make my fried chicken, I have to have a gravy if you go with that. Let me see what else I can find. Which vinegar is best for the fish? No, don't, don't, just use a plain vinegar. Valerie asks which vinegar is best for fish. Don't use the apple cider vinegar because that's going to give it a, a taste that you don't want that will affect it, you know? So use the plain vinegar and don't use too much. Apply the vinegar directly in the water to clean up the fish properly. And it can also help the vinegar with some lime juice as well that help as well, that cut away most of that rawness, you won't get away 100% of the rawness because it's fish, right? But you, you, you won't. And while you're frying the fish, I don't see anybody asking that question, but I'm going to say it because this is something that I've heard over and over. So when you're frying the fish now, to take away the rawness, you wash it with your vinegar and your, um, and your lime juice, right? And you can also, when you're frying the fish, put some gar fresh whole garlic, and some scotch bonnet pepper in the oil that will also help to cut away some of the rawness. And while you're frying your fish, you can have a little um, pot going with some cinnamon and even dishwashing liquid, not too much, some cinnamon powder and dishwashing liquid. Mix that up in some water and put it on a low simmer away from the fish. And that way now, you kind of have the aroma just kind of removing a bit of that fish smell out of the house while you're frying. So that's something that I've always done. It helps to a degree, so you can try that out as well, you see me? 
Let me see the other questions that are coming in. Okay, um, for good day. Good day, good day, a long thing. You depend on the channel now, you know, big up. You see me? You depend on the channel for a long while now. You're asking if we can put if I put yeast in the Easter bun. Yes, but for my bun, that's on the channel currently. I, I didn't put any yeast. I put baking powder. But yeast is the way you can put yeast if you want a more light bun. Because my bun is more, is more um decadent. You know what I say? Firmer bun. Because really and truly bun, you know, want such a for light bun. But this year, I'm going to make three bun and I'm going to try out it with the yeast. I've never done it with the yeast. I've always used the baking powder, but I'm going to try it out with the yeast. But you can try it with the yeast still, you see me? But make sure so you don't put too much yeast. If Because on my thing, think for, for the, for the um, batch of two, as two bun, I think I used um, about um, two tablespoons of baking powder. And you know yeast is very strong. So you want to minimize the amount of yeast. If you're going to substitute yeast for baking powder, you want to use at least half the amount or quarter the amount that I have in the recipe list. Let me see. So why not defrost it, agent? That's the thing, you know. Art face, are you the same person who asks if they can fry the, the, the frozen fish? That's what I'm answering. Now. You can fry the frozen fish if you don't have any choice. I know a lot of persons are working, they're busy. You know, I say them come home, them last minute like myself but the best way is to have your fish thawed out right if you season it before have it in your freezer your deep freeze it's best to have it thawed out preferably in the fridge you know what i say so you leave it to thaw out and then 30 minutes just before you fry it you put it on your counter that way you bring it up to temp whereas it's not too cold because whenever you're frying fish and chicken and it's too cold it's just gonna dry it out and now get that very moist texture that you're looking for you know what i say so you can you can tie it out, yes, but if you don't have a choice and it's frozen, I'm telling you, it can still be um, fried, frozen. All right, any possible keto recipe in the future? Um, greetings from our greens, my friend, and I found my channel a few weeks. Big up, um, Kerry Smith. That's, to be honest, that's not um, keto recipes. I, I, most of my recipes are reflected around what I cook in my household for myself and my family. So in terms of a keto recipe, I've been looking into that. You know what I say? More of a healthier choice, healthier lifestyle. Because trust me, health doesn't have anything to do with weight. It can be skinny, it can be fat, it can be medium size. And you're not healthy. You know what I say? So even though I'm slim, I may not be healthy. Not saying I'm not healthy. Don't get that wrong. But I'm just saying, Wait, some, sometimes it do, do and sometimes it don't. Because if someone is obese, that's a health factor. And if you're, um, a call the word, anorexic, that's also a health factor. But not because I'm slim and look fit means I'm healthy. So that's something you're talking about, Akita, that I'm looking towards going more of a healthier move. You know what I say? But for right now, but your answer, your question is for the future. Yes. That's something that we're definitely going to include in the future. You see me? But for right now, that's a no. Dragon is good. Okay, so Kurt Daly. Yeah, man, you can use... Yeah, Dragon is one of my favorite drinks. So you can use that in the bun. As I said before, for this, for this bun recipe, your favorite choice of um, beer. But the dark beer is prefer, preferably the dark beer. You know what I'm saying? It also helps you to minimize the use of... Um, the, the, the uh, Well, can't remember right now. The brownie, that's some people call it caramel. So if you use the dragon or the Guinness, you don't have to use as much brownie or caramel. Because if the overuse of browning or caramel will make your bun bitter. And you don't want a bitter tasting bun. You know what I'm saying? And also, when you're baking it, it will burn the bun if you have too much browning in there. So that's why I like to use that. The Guinness, not only for flavor, but yeah, for flavor. But 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 for color. Because the Guinness gives you that nice color that we know. We, we love and know that the Easter bun has, you see me? And a lot of persons are saying, can they bake the bun without the raisins? I don't see that question here yet, but yes, you can. You can bake the bun without the raisin. You see me? Because a lot of persons I know, they don't eat raisins and all those fruits. And if you, if you don't want to take them out, you can also blend them, you know, just like the fruit cake, you know. You can blend them up and put them in the bun and make it more decadent. I'm not seeing... Um, 
Canada, then I place 85. Um, Bleaker, big up yourself, hope I pronounce that right. El Daily, what is the best type of fish to fry for Easter? Again, that all boils down to personal preference. For me, I like fish with the head and everything. So I wouldn't buy a kingfish. A lot of persons, they don't like bones. So kingfish is the way to go. The sliced kingfish, or even sliced fish for that matter. But personally, me, I love red snapper. Because I like the fish head, the bone, the whole works. I like for just go all out with it. You see me? I want to have the whole of fish. But a lot of persons, especially if you're feeding kids, and I have a rest, I think I have um, a video out on that as well. So the kingfish. So you can fry the kingfish or your regular sliced fish if, you have, if you're feeding a lot of kids. Because with the kingfish or the sliced fish, you only have one major bone in there. Once you remove that, the kids are good to go. But I would, I would say still check in between here and there to ensure that there's no other small bones going on in there if you're feeding the kids. You know what I say? But for me, it's, it's a snapper. I, I love snapper. Some people say trout and all of those fish, but me like red snapper. All right, what else we can see? K Brown, my favorite chef. Big up yourself, K. And we have Miss uh, Miss Sella. Big up. Uh, if I don't get to big up, you know, don't feel away. You know. Amanda Mackenzie, big up. What about red label wine? Can it be included? All right. So a lot of persons, they don't like alcohol. So that's something to bear in mind. But if, as I said before, if you like that, you can go ahead and put that because it gives it, give it that um, alcohol essence as well. You can use the red label wine, but I'd say dilute that with water because the red label wine seems to have like a very distinctive taste. So what you can do also in order to get rid of that raw alcohol taste, you can just heat up the pan, add the red label wine in there, and then let, let it, um, let me find the proper word I'm going to look for. Let it burn off. In layman term, let it burn off a, a bit of that alcohol so that it's not too strong in there. See? And then you can dilute that with water. And make sure when you add the red label wine and the water, it brings it back to the amount that, that is listed in the recipe. Because you don't want to just randomly add a small bottle of red label wine and then some water. You have to ensure that when you fuse both of them, you get the measurement. Let's say I have one cup of water. At the end of the day, when you fuse the red label and the water, you should have one cup in total for that recipe to get the bun coming out the way it should be. Um, what else? I'm not seeing a lot of most questions that I'm looking for are fish questions. Okay. Um, in terms of, I don't see this question, but I'm trying to answer what I can remember. Persons are asking me how you make the glaze for the bun. The glaze, um, what's the origin? Uh, who is that? Mega Lee Boggy. What's the origin of Easter bun? Right, give me a second, I'm going to reach back to you. So the question about um, the glaze. The glaze is, you have, the glaze is very simple. I use um, honey, water. You see me? Honey and water I use for my glaze. And what you do is you just, of course, mix the honey and the water together and just put it on low heat and allow it to slowly reduce. You see me? And, to, and just get a little bit thick. And then, of course, you're going to allow that to cool down completely. So once it's cooled down now, then you're going to apply that to the bun. But make the bun. So you make the glaze while the bun is in the oven. Because you want to apply that to the hot bun. You see me? And then I leave them out on your cooling rack. And don't put the bun in any bag. Because I find when you put the bun right away into bags, it gets it, it sweat. And then the bun, the edges of the bun get soggy. And no one really wants a soggy bun. You see me? So while your bun is baking, then you have the glaze on the stove. And I have, I, I think I, I sh that recipe, that bun, that Easter bun recipe is over a year old. But I'm pretty sure that I have um, I have a clip somewhere during the video that shows you how to get the, um, the glaze ready for the bun. But that's something to bear in mind. Do not put the hot bun into a bag or cover it up entirely because it will just sweat and you have 
a very, when you're cutting into the bun, it's just going to be peeling off and saggy. Allow, but put the glaze on while the bun is hot. Leave it on a cooling rack. Preferably, I say a cooling rack because you can allow the, the air to go or circulate around the bun. If you just put it on a flat surface, chances are it's going to sweat at the bottom and then you're going to get a very um, saggy bun again. So put it on a cooling rack where the air can circulate and cool down the bun properly. Then you can put it in a bag and ensure that you, you seal that bag properly so that the bun doesn't get dry out. You can have this bun, you can have this bun to honestly up to a week, you see me? Whereas once you seal it after each time you cut it, you can have it up to a week and it still guarantee you that 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 freshness in a dry and breaking apart and all these things. Um, let me double check. Wow, we're down to 25 minutes, you know, and I said half an hour. I don't want to overdo this thing. All right, so include recipes with the video. Who is this coming from? All right, so include that question. That question is actually a big question that I've been getting a lot about putting the actual recipe in the description box. The thing is, I'm currently working on a recipe book. See, so that's why you're not seeing most of the recipes listed down below because I'm working on a recipe book right now. You see, me? I'm I'm not pretty sure when it's going to be released because I don't have anyone doing this thing for me. I'm, so it's, if it's not me, it's Alisa. We're both working on this hand in hand. We don't have anybody in the background editing our videos or doing anything. We're doing this all on our own. So that's something that we're currently working on. Let me maximize this thing. That's, that's something that we're currently working on, getting a book out there. But what I do do, that no so right, what I do do, <laughs> Jano, but what I do at times is I put, a list of so let's say I'm going to put flour into a rest into a particular recipe. You'll find that I put now on the video. I would have to laugh at me. <laughs> Natalie, I laugh at me. Big up in the Natalie. We notice it upon the gum TV and the Mars time cooking. You always a show love and for that, big up. See? Amanda I laugh at me too. We don't go on, man. But yeah. Oh yeah, damn. Get true enough. So yeah. What 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 me do now? Where was I? Somebody kind of catch me up to speed. That, that do do something they kind of throw me off. Totally. No pun intended, isn't it? But it kind of throw me off. Um, what was the topic that I was on? Somebody please catch me up to speed. Um, yeah, the recipe book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up. So yeah, the recipe book. Thanks. See me? Yo, me young boy, me head a go. But yeah, the recipe book, because I'm working on a recipe book, I, I, I haven't been putting the, 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 the list of ingredients and the procedure in the description um, recently. But what I do, <laughs> I don't want to say it again, I'll be laughing, I'll laugh at me. But what I do now is I put like a list of, I put the, 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 the exact measurements. So let's say I'm putting a cup of flour. I'm not going to just throw flour in, I put um, flour, one cup. So if you realize the recent videos, that's there. You see me? Young butt head going. Yeah, man. They had a, they had a go more while. You know, you're tired. Let me just start the live video. You look sleepy because I'm very tired, but you don't know. Working hard to live easy. i rather to be tired than broke. So all those who there, if you can attest to that, you, you know me at that, bro. All right, nearly catch you again right nearly catch me again um sharon because half an hour is the limit me not to want to overdo this thing i mean all right because the comments are coming in so much me can't really find the time to um address everything that you're asking right now but mago Um, yeah, 
So me see Megali Boogie. As in the talk about family here, my family has stepped through the door right now. Which so is half an hour mark. January. See if you want to know more about my family, as I say, GAM TV. That's my vlogging channel. Let me see if I can show you real quick. I hope I have answered most of the questions that I've that I've been getting. And this is basically an Easter. What kind of boss? What kind of beef for that? What kind of beef for that? Eh? Let me see. You just step in and answer even my boss. I got Batman Lego. Good evening. It kind of looks like my cat is silly. Oh, yeah, cat silly. It kind of looks like. You get everything? Yeah, look. Yeah. Oh. See, boss, I get him Batman Lego. What else I get? Hey, I'm not going to find this thing long enough, you know, but as I say, half an hour, I didn't want to go. I'm rich, half an hour. Yeah, man, uh, how that curly girl coming people want to see, see my boss. When I want to see him, I have to go up on GAM TV. Right, my boss? They say they want to see you. How are these? Ryan Jammers. You get Ryan Jammers? Yeah. Yeah, nice. I like it. Nice. What else? How are these? That's mine. You can't open oh, it. Oh, then I come and say they want to see. Oh, gummies? I say, mother spoiling me. You mother always came out randomly and go buy them things. You see me? Come, Jamie. Let me, let me just introduce you to you. Open my gummies. We need to agree so we're not carrying a bag of sweet here, man. No, it's for Easter. Right? Easter. Come here. Come here, boss. Come here. Oh, come here, no? Come on. No, it's the key. Jump, 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 jump. Did I just mess me so? If I missed you, no, I didn't. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> say everybody there, say hi. I was still a girl, so we're on top. Hi. Come on, and stop me like bush, man. Hi. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Hi. Uh, manager. So come in, you know, and say hi. Manager, manager. Go and take off a jacket. But yeah, he, he only see him one and two times when he cook and stuff. But if you want to see more of him, GAM TV or something. Um, yeah. Deep fire. So that I think now we're at um yeah. Kingfish and snapper. Kingfish and snapper. Small snapper. See, there you go again. I one about the question about um type of fish. So at least I get kingfish and snapper because Jamir I have to fry the kingfish for him because he has just the one bone. See? Well yeah, I'm sure you can find this thing before me jump off real quick. Don't turn on the TV as it because we don't want the you know the copyright. We don't want to edit this anymore. I wasn't to. just keep it running. Um so yeah. Let me see, let me see if everybody. Oh. Never that one. Let me see if I can show you where I'm going. Come on, man. Hmm? Well, I can't see nothing on this screen. Let me see if I Boy, yeah. That's the um, vlogging channel. We have a lot of video out there. Gum TV, see it there? And if you can see it properly, wow, nothing's not showing. But yeah, Gum TV, that's my vlogging channel. Jamir is heavily, um, what do you call it? Heavily featured in it. So you can go. All right, my boss, give me a minute. Me soon come to you. Me just wrap up the live, live here. here. So for the for just to just just a recap of the, the, the title and what we're here discussing, we're discussing like questions and I'm mean, gonna answer questions Easter related and all them thing. You can't see, sorry. Just go over there, man. For Keely, Keely Smith, go over there. It's it's Gamp TV. I'm gonna put it in the comment section right now. Vlog channel. Oh hold on, give me a second. Did I punch a gum TV? So there it is. Um, enter. So there, my vlog channel is gum TV. So if you want to see more, and for all of those who, are, who have been here since day one, you know that we, the, the, the kitchen that we were in, we're at a new kitchen because we're at a new apartment. See? But all of them stuff, they have them over for my vlog channel. And I'm here. 
to answer most of the questions on YouTube because many of the people who are on here are elderly persons. So no love and respect to you. I know that you reach out to me and say in the comment section that you don't have um, Instagram or Facebook. That's why I'm on here to do this live video. But you can catch up with me over on GAM TV. We upload at least two times for the week. So you can check that out as well. See? So big up everybody for logging in. Thank you very much for the love and the support. I see the comments. I try to reply to them as much as possible. But trust me, the community is growing rapidly. And thank you for suggesting us to a friend, to a family. You know what I say? No fluff goes out. All that I about chocolate. Can I get this? Yeah, I got chocolate. Taste piece. Can I taste piece? I want to give me a piece of the next one. Yeah. So big up everybody, man, for the love and the support. No found to reach out to me and tell me so no suggest me to somebody else. Like it's just a blessing. This, like, trust me, it's a blessing. Nice. Thanks. Get a chocolate egg? Yeah, because the teacher put the chocolate egg in this. Oh, teacher gave this to you? Chocolate needs the egg. Oh, okay. How many chocolate did you get? It's one more egg in here tomorrow. So don't eat too much chocolate because you don't know that's something go. Alyssa, give me about four more minutes. Let me just wrap up my life, please. Yes, yeah, so in Canada, big up, big up all of the Canadians in the house. I must say, yo, big up to everybody from America, you know what I said, the UK, Canada, Jamaica, Trinidad, Cayman Island, I can't call it everyone, but those six names that I just called are, when, it, when we go through the analytics, I come and check it out, like majority of those persons are from those countries in the list that I just said, you know? So big up on yourself and all the other countries across the world that may not appear in my, um, on my feed, big up on yourself because I know so the, the reach is very far. You see me? Thank you for taking the time out for watching each video. Thank yeah. you for reaching out to me. Thank you for sending in your pictures and showing me what you've made so far. And you know, I've changed a lot of things in most households. Like even Alice herself, like she's come a far away in terms of cooking. And all thanks to the cooking channel. It all started because I've been getting questions about a channel. You know what I say? And recipes, and I developed this channel. So my son can now see what me do. You know what I say? And me can't even. No problem. Man. Just watch, watch a step. So me can't even see my work in the future. You know what I say? So yeah, I'm very happy that I can create a change in your household, in your cooking. And such a it, man. Tell a friend about Morris Time Cooking. That, that's the biggest support that you're giving me right now. Like, we have over on in the, in, if you go in the About Us, you can see where I have a PayPal because a lot of persons were suggesting to me that I create a PayPal or, what, what the other thing name again, Alisa? Ah, oh, man, PayPal. Ah, I mean, I remember, but someone suggested it to me long before. Bahamas, big up. Ah, man. I don't remember the name right now. Yeah. But a, a platform where as Patreon, Patreon, yeah. A platform where as you, if you want to donate to the kitchen to help improve the quality of the videos and help to put out more videos. So persons who are saying they want to be a patron and help support the channel. You can, uh, if you want, if you're out there and you want to support the channel, you can do that through PayPal. All of the information is in the About Us section. So you can do that. That's what Mickey Mouse, I'm a boss. Yeah. You know? But if, if you're not able to, to, to support um, um, monetarily, just the support of you clicking like on the video, if you like it, it's a big support. Leaving a comment that helps as well to put us up in the, in the um, what you call it, thing there? In the YouTube algorithm, you know what I say? And just the very fact that you share a video. My older brother, like, sometimes the man share my video them on him Facebook page where not even me can like all of the picture of them or the video of them. So if that helps, it just shows it someone else and a lot of persons out there, even recently, they say, yo, I just found your channel. How come I just find a channel? And you've been on there. Oh, that's a ring. Oh, you've been on there for a year. Jamir, may I meet my boss, please? Let me just finish. Two minutes. 
See? So it doesn't have to be monitoring. If you click like on the video, it, it helps. I know sometimes myself, I watch a lot of videos and I don't remember to like. So what I do, I will try to click like as soon as I see something that I like, you know? But I don't force anybody to click like. Because sometimes it's something you don't, you genuinely don't like. So why would you like it if you don't like it? But what I'm saying is, if you like the video, don't forget to hit like on the video. If you have a comment, leave it in the description, in the comment section and I'll get back to you. So that I don't have to go 40 minutes into a live video to answer the comments, you see me? So hope I have covered most of the things. Oh God, man. Um, art face is a stay genuine and that'll work for you. Big up yourself, big up, no fluff for that. Like that's the only thing we can really and truly do, you know. Just stay true to yourself. Like if me try to be my son, I go feel miserably because I can only be him. Like pretending for a while. But when you be yourself, like you even have to try, just effortless just be yourself. So that is what I am all about. That that's what I try to encourage people to be themselves. You won't get more, you, you won't get a lot of that from me over here unless it's now of a live video. But we talk more in details about life. I'm all about empowering people, encouraging people. And if you follow me, GAM TV, you'll see that that's the route that I take. But over here. Me just mostly stick to food and try, just like how I try to improve your cooking qualities. Me I try to improve lives because I learn from you just the same. You know what I say? You say watch the ads. The ads help as well. So big up, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shippy Bradshaw. Big up yourself. You say you watch the ads. Yeah, 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 yeah. You watch the ads. Me know that work as well, too, man. That help a lot. You know what I say? I wouldn't grow up. Me must answer, man. Oh no, glow, tape and tape. So yeah, most I wish for you guys a very happy and productive. Wait, I'm about to try no. Should I use a knife? You know, you know, end of this so that when kids like you go at the store, wait no. When you no go at the store, you can walk me people in box and looking at the entire. Yeah, what do you say? Thank you. Okay, big up yourself. I have a chocolate and milky milk. But yeah. Um, happy Easter to everybody, man. I wish for you and your family nothing but success and blessing. You know what I say? Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for suggesting this to someone. You see, just, just a blessing, man. If you did tell me two years ago, some would have reached a level up on YouTube, I would say, joke thing. Because me leave, even doubt the thing. Say, who are going really sit down and watch my thing? But here I am. You guys you know, I only make it thing. I only make me have create videos after videos every week because you know love it. When I saw no love mommy vibe, a lot of persons were suggesting to make a channel for her. I go create a channel for mommy, but me don't want to really rush it. I want to invest in getting her like a, a camera and a laptop. You know what I say? So that's something we're working on. And then my mommy can have our channel and only can get to interact with her. You see me? So no flow. Take care of yourself. See if travel funny gravelers I always I say. Big up for the support. And just stay true to yourself and love for we love you. See? No love again. And take care. We'll have you on next time. Let's see if we can go for end the live video. Okay, it's right there. Where you want to say Jamie? Say something to everybody before we log off. Big up.